what is going on guys in this video i'll be showing you how you can create this neon text animation in hit film express so this tutorial was requested by a fellow youtuber his name is happy animations he wanted me to create this tutorial so here it is i'll be splitting this tutorial into two parts and the first part i'll show you how to create this neon text effect uh, i'll be showing you i'll be also showing you how to create this flickering effect uh, and uh, in the next part i'll show you how to uh, create this camera shake effect and also i'll be showing you how to add these elements like this wire that you are seeing in this uh, video let's create our new composite shot i'll choose 1080p for sd at 60 frames per second the duration is set to 5 seconds and then click on OK. For the background, I'll be using this brick texture uh, image. I'll put the download link in the description. You can just download it and use it in your project. And uh, right now, uh, it is quite large for our composition. So I'm just going to scale it down. Also, this image is a bit saturated. So we need to desaturate it. In the effects tab, search for hue saturation and lightness so apply it on your image or controls and expand your hue saturation and lightness expand the master section and just simply decrease the saturation and make it negative 100 and then you can also decrease the lightness and uh, maybe make it negative 3 and yeah that is looking really nice now uh, in the effects tab search for curves apply it on your image go to curves and simply select this uh, point right here and simply drag it uh, down like somewhere over there yeah, that is looking really nice uh, now in the fixed tab search for vignette I'll just apply this vignette 1080p on my image and expand the vignette and from the preset choose this heavy preset and uh, that's it uh, we are done with our background now it's time to create our text uh, click on new layer then click on text I'm going to set the width to 1920 and the height to 400 and click on OK. Select the text tool and um, what I'm going to do is type in the first letter of my text. And the word that I'm going to type in is neon. But for that flicker effect, you, need, you have to type in just the first letter of your text. I'm just going to type in N and um, I'm just going to con hit Ctrl A to select this text. Go to text tab and uh, I'll increase the font size and maybe make it uh, 300 and also I'll change the font and uh, select uh, this font called moon. I'm using moon font because uh, because of the rounded corners that this font has and it looks really nice if you use a uh, font with rounded corners. And also I'll apply a stroke to this text. So just simply increase this value. I'll just uh, make it 12 and uh, I'll change the color and apply this color and then click on OK. All right, we are I also uh, select your text. And make sure that is it is aligned on in the center. I simply clicking on this icon that says center alignment. OK, that is looking really nice. Uh, now what you can do is create another uh, first of all, let's just rename this to N. Create a new text layer of the same properties. Select the text tool and this time type in E. And uh, then hit Ctrl A on your keyboard. Select the selection tool and just move it to the right side of your first letter. Rename this to E. Create a new text layer and this time we will type in O. Select your selection tool and just move this text to the right rename this layer to O create a new text layer this time I'm going to type in N control A select the or selection tool and just simply drag this text this letter to the right like somewhere over there and rename it to N so I'm just going to re rearrange these layers. I'm going to, this is my first letter. So I'm just going to put it at the top, followed by E and then O and then N. I'm going to select all these four layers and uh, I'll just align it. Just put this text to the center. Now we need to animate, we need to apply some effects on our uh, text. So in the effects tab, search for emboss effect. Uh, it's under stylize. Uh, you just drag it and 
apply it on your first layer and the left side go to controls tab and expand the emboss uh, and just change the direction and uh, type in zero there in the blend amount just change this value to 40 percent and also increase the contrast and you can also change the edge width i'm just gonna make it let's see uh, i think uh, 1.4 uh, is fine and uh, then uh, in the effect search for drop shadow and apply it on your first layer expand the drop shadow and uh, i'll increase the distance and uh, make it 11.5 and also i'll increase the penumbra value to around uh, 9 and uh, let's keep the opacity at 0.5 and then in effects i'll also search for <coughs> a neon glow effect so it's under lights and flares i simply drag it and apply it on your first layer expand the neon glow and uh, uh, i'll just set the expansion and move it all the way to the left make sure that the expansion is at zero radius uh, and also yeah let's change the color i'll just use this color picker tool right here just uh, click and hold on that icon and this you can just pick any color from your screen i'll just uh, use this color that we applied uh, the color of our stroke and uh, also i can just increase or maybe decrease the intensity of this but i'm just going to keep it at 0.8 and uh, increase the radius so i'm just gonna keep it at uh, maybe 182 and uh, also change the blend to add and uh, can maybe also play around with the radius and i think 172 looks really fine okay now we are done with our first letter now uh, copy all these three effects so i'm just gonna highlight all these three effects right click and click on copy select uh, highlight your e layer or the second layer and hit ctrl v on your keyboard and paste those effects on and that will paste those effects on that layer i'm going to highlight the o layer ctrl v to paste those effects and i'm going to highlight the n layer or the n letter and hit ctrl v on your keyboard to paste those effects in there Okay, now we have our neon text right here. Here we created the scene where the neon effects are turned on. Now we'll also create a scene where the neon effect is turned off. So to do that, you just simply have to highlight all these four layers. Hit Control D on your keyboard to duplicate these layers or just right click and click on duplicate. Now uh, we have these duplicated layers. Uh, the ones that are highlighted are your duplicated layers. So I'm just gonna quickly rename this one i'm just gonna rename this to uh, i'm gonna type in n in lowercase and that way i'll be able to differentiate between the original and the duplicated one now i'll select uh these layers these duplicated layers all these four duplicated layers and drag it above um, the first layer now i'll turn off the visibility of my fifth sixth seventh and eighth layer and uh, the first layer i just expand it go to effects and um, let's delete the neon glow effect from it and uh, let's go to the second layer go to effects and do the same thing delete the neon glow effect third layer expand the effects delete the neon glow effect go to the fourth layer and uh, in the effects delete the neon glow effect and uh, in the effects tab search for fill color and just uh, simply drag it and apply it on your first layer expand the fill color uh, and the color choose this black color then click on ok and now that uh, there is your state in which uh, the neon lights are not turned on so yeah that is looking really nice um, what I want to do is I'll just hide all these four layers for now and uh, I'm gonna enable the fifth sixth seventh and eighth layer okay i'm just gonna uh tweak the drop shadow settings so i'm just gonna expand the drop shadow and in the diff uh, distance i just type in 26 and i'm gonna do the same thing with all the other layers and uh, i'm just gonna increase the distance to 26 Okay, that is looking really nice and uh, now what I want to do is 
I'll just select all these four layers, uh, these bottom, the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth layer, and simply drag it and put it on uh, at the top. Now I will enable these layers that are at the bottom. Select uh, the first four layers, highlight it, and uh, just shift it to the right by about uh, maybe 30 frames. And now I'm going to select the second layer, just the second layer, and I'm just going to shift it to the right by about four, five, or four or five frames. Select the third layer, shift it to the right by about seven frames or maybe eight frames. On the last, uh, on the fourth layer, I'll just shift it uh, to the right by about uh, two or three or four frames. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to apply this fill color on uh, these uh, four, these three layers. So yeah, I just had to expand it, copy the fill color, right click copy or control C, and I'm just going to paste it on E layer, this seventh layer, and I'll just paste it on this eighth layer as well. Yeah, now that is looking really nice. Let me just play this and see what we have created. And yeah, that is looking really nice. Now what you can do is create that to create that flickering effect. You can just uh, target any of the letter. I'm just gonna target the first letter, this one. Expand it and uh, then go to transform and just keyframe the opacity. So I'll just create the keyframe at that uh, point or at that position. Uh, set the keyframe at 100. Move to the next frame. Set the opacity to zero and now I move two frames forward and increase the opacity to 100%. Uh, select all these keyframes and just click on this icon to convert these keyframes to constant keyframes and you can do the same thing with any other letter if you want to. So yeah that is looking really nice. And that's it for this video guys. Um, that is how you create this neon effect in um, HitFilm Express and in the next part I'll show you how to create uh, those how to create that camera shake effect and uh, create those wires in the middle uh, so yeah stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in the next video goodbye